Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness. I am in a completely different location. It looks probably the same to you on camera, but I actually moved you guys. This is the first video that I'm filming in my new house, which I'm so extremely excited about. I seriously can't wait to update you and tell you more about it. Um, today I'm super excited to create a look that's really focused on a lip product. And I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I saw this photo. Actually, I'll just put it up on the screen in a second, but Patrick Ta is one of my favorite makeup artists ever. And he created this look right here on Adriana Lima. Patrick posted a couple pictures, but in one of them he listed out the lip product that he used and it's from Maybelline. So I went and picked it up last night. I'm going to be using it today. He used a couple. I couldn't find the second one he was talking about that he mixed with it. So hopefully I can get this one to look similar, but isn't this look so beautiful? I'm absolutely obsessed. Here's the before and after so you guys can see exactly the look that we're going to be creating today and let's get right into this video. So I've already done my brows. In the photo she had really soft brows so I decided to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz toward the end because those parts of her brows were really defined or more defined I guess. And then I used the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder and I actually used the shade number one for this and I used the powder on the inner portions of the brow just to keep it really soft because that's how her brows looked in the photo. So I think we're just going to start with skin. Her eyes are very simple. So let's move straight into complexion. I already moisturized the skin quite a bit, but her skin is so dewy and it looks so hydrated. So I'm gonna go into the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Please excuse my nails. Guys, since we've been moving, first of all, my nail polish is packed somewhere. I have no idea where it is and my nails have chipped this whole entire time. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this primer all over the skin. I still don't know if I'm obsessed with this primer or not, but I do know that I like how it feels on the skin. I personally can't really tell too much of a difference as far as like how it helps my makeup, but maybe I just need to keep using it a little bit more. I definitely need a lot of hydration. My skin is so dry right now. So I'm just spreading that out all over the skin with my fingers. To even out the complexion, I thought I would use this foundation since the lipstick is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, but I don't think she has too much of a full coverage base. So I'm gonna try to use a little bit of this and make it go a long way. I'm gonna warm it up on the back of my hands and I'm gonna really focus this on the areas that I have redness, so my cheeks basically. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to buff this out with my Real Techniques buffing brush. And we can always build up coverage if needed, but I'm gonna really try to use thin layers of this because this foundation is so full coverage, so you really don't need that much anyway. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit more. Again, warm it up on the back of my hand first, and then I'm gonna dot it on the skin and then buff it with the brush. So yeah, you guys, I moved. I feel like this happened so fast. It kind of happened fast and kind of didn't because we were really looking for houses for quite a while. It got really frustrating and we gave up and this house we stumbled across. And seriously, you guys, it was perfect. It checked off all of our boxes and long story short, it worked out and I'm so happy to be in this house. And I'm so grateful for you guys because if it weren't for you guys and if it weren't for this channel and the opportunities that I get because of this channel, like this stuff wouldn't happen. So thank you so much. I can't wait to show you around my house eventually. I've got to unpack. Seriously, my beauty room is full of boxes right now. We basically just set up the filming part so that I could film some videos, but it's been so fun to like unpack and do all that. I'm so excited to be here. I'm just taking a little bit of that foundation and I'm getting it on my Thrive Cosmetic sponge because you guys probably know by now if you've watched a lot of my videos, I like to go over everything with a sponge just to make it a little bit more dewy and it picks up any extra product. So I'm just gonna go all over the face with a sponge. I can't find the mirror that I normally use. It's in a box somewhere. I'm just gonna use this little one. <laughs> okay, I actually really like the coverage that I have on the skin right now. Next, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. And I'm gonna kind of highlight the centers of the face. I'm gonna use kind of a darker shade first. This is in the shade light. And then we'll go over certain areas with the shade fair. But it really doesn't look like she's extremely highlighted or contoured. It looks very natural. So I'm just gonna cover up any redness with this shade, any blemishes that need a little extra help. And then I'm going to take the shade fair and just go over the darkest areas of the under eye. Just kind of layering it over top of that first shade. And then we'll go on the chin, down the center of the nose, and in the center of the forehead a little bit. And I'm gonna blend all of this out. I'm gonna start with the blemishes first, and then I'm just gonna blend out the rest of the concealer all over the face. 
It feels so good to be putting makeup on <laughs> since we've just been packing and moving over the past few days. I packed all my makeup and so I'm really happy to be putting makeup on my face. I'm so excited to be doing this makeup look. When I was scrolling on Instagram and I came across it, I fell immediately in love and then I actually saw one of you guys tag me in the photo on Instagram and said, can you please recreate this? So I was like, you know what? It's meant to be, I'm totally gonna do it. I just added a little bit more of the lightest shade of concealer just in the areas that I have the most darkness. But anyways, I love a good look with a bold lip. And I honestly would have never chosen this lip color at the store. So we'll see how it looks on. <laughs> I'm hoping I can pull it off like she does. Okay, in the photo, there's clearly some cream bronzer going on. I know Patrick Ta loves to cream bronze. I'm gonna be using this one from Milk Makeup. I've been loving this. It's the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. And I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques Contour Brush for this. Perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the brush directly on the product. I'm just gonna start to work this on the forehead. I'm just gonna kind of use this to map out where I want the contour. And then we will blend it out with the sponge and make sure it looks nice and clean. And now I'm just going in like pressing motions and I'm blending it up a little bit. And I'm blending it onto the cheeks slightly. She has a little bit of a deeper skin tone than I do, but she looks really bronzy as well. So I'm just trying to add a little bit of a glow to the front of the face. And I'm also gonna make sure to blend it down the neck. Take it underneath the jawline a little bit as well. But you're gonna wanna make sure you blend it out if you do this so that you don't have like a brown line along the jawline. It's just supposed to mimic a shadow, which is why you really wanna make sure to blend it out. I just had an idea. I don't know if I've seen anyone do this, but I'm going to try something. I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker shade of concealer. So this is the shade light. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take a brush. I'm gonna dip into the bronzer and I'm gonna take this and kind of mix it in with a little bit of concealer just to lighten up the color a little bit. And I'm gonna be using this to contour my nose. I've never seen anyone do this. I'm sure somebody has, you guys. This is not like my own idea, I'm sure. But I've never seen someone do this, on YouTube at least. So I'm just pressing this along the sides of the nose. Don't worry, we will blend it out. I'm gonna go a little bit underneath the nose as well. And I'm actually gonna take what's left on the brush and kind of buff it up toward this brow right here. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and we're gonna blend this out really, really well. Oh my goodness, I think it's working. Haha! -ha. I'm gonna take some of that light concealer again. This is not the fair one, it's the light shade. And I'm just gonna pinch in the sides of the nose by running it on the sides right here a little bit more and we're just gonna blend it out as well. If it gets over the contour line slightly, that's okay. I feel like it will help it look more natural anyway. I'm also gonna take what's left on the brush that we used for the nose contour and I'm gonna put a little bit underneath the lip just to make it a little bit more pouty looking. And now I'm taking what's left on the brush again. This is from what we used to contour our nose and I'm just running this just kind of through the crease a little bit to add a little bit of dimension. Her eyes are so simple. While we're at it, I'm actually gonna dip into a little bit more of the bronzer and I'm just going to run this on the lower lash line for a little bit of definition. But again, the eyes are so simple. So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna actually use an eyeshadow yet. We will see. If you are not using a cream product, if you're using powder, you can do the same thing with powder. Just make sure to use a setting powder and set your foundation and concealer before going in. All right, now I'm just gonna lightly go over everything with the sponge, especially the forehead, just to make sure it looks nice and fresh and dewy and there's no streaks, but there's also definition. Okay, so normally at this point, I would set the face I truly feel like there's not that much powder on her skin. So we're gonna go into blush. I bought this for myself for my birthday. I'm so excited. It's the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Luster. She's got a more pink blush, but I do wanna kind of create a base first. And then we'll apply a little bit of a brighter pop of pink. So I'm just shaking this up and putting a small drop on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna warm it up and I'm gonna smile and kind of apply it with my hands. And then I'm gonna go in with the fat part of the sponge at the bottom, get a little bit of what's on my hand and I'm gonna to start to blend this out all over the cheeks just to kind of create that base for a flush. I'm bringing it up toward the temples a little bit. I'm stamping it over the bronzer slightly. I'm flipping the sponge over and I'm just gonna press that in a little bit more. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go into the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. This is a really amazing cream product that I personally feel like will really help contribute to the overall dewy skin look that we're going for. I'm gonna take this side of the sponge, so not this flat part, the other side, and I'm just gonna go directly onto the applicator. I don't think I've ever used this much cream product in a video, but it's kind of fun to switch things up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press that onto the high points of the face. This takes a minute to build up, but honestly, it's worth the time to really work it into the skin because it looks so beautiful and natural. I'm just gonna kind of move it in a C shape around the brow, on the cupid bow, 
Okay, we might go back into that later. I'm gonna powder a little bit. I'm just gonna use my Thrive Cosmetics translucent powder. And I'm gonna make sure to press out any creasing since we haven't set this yet. And then I'm just gonna lightly press a little bit of powder on the under eye area just to lock this in. And I'm actually gonna bring it on the front of the cheek a little bit just because I have a powder blush that I really wanna use. And I wanna make sure it looks nice and blended and it doesn't grab onto any sticky parts of the face. But that luster blush is still showing through the powder, which is what I was hoping for. Also going around the nose to lock the powder. I'm also putting powder around the nose and on the chin a little bit. Going along with the Maybelline theme, I thought this blush would be perfect. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade 25 Pink Rose. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this right now, just on the apples of the cheeks. Once we apply the actual lip color, that will help us determine whether we want a little bit more blush or a little less. But I honestly feel like this is a very close match, if not the blush that he used. I don't know if he used this blush, but it looks like it's this color to me. I already love how that looks. I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna press that in a little bit more just to make sure it's blended. So I'm actually gonna take the powder brush and I'm gonna set the eyelids and just kind of get rid of any product that may have creased in the eyelid because he used a gloss on the eyes and I've never done that. So we're just gonna try it. But I think I'm first going to apply like the lashes and everything like that and then do the gloss at the end. The gloss I wanted to use on the eyes, I lost. It's seriously, I have no idea where it is. It's in a box somewhere. It would have been impossible for me to find. So we're just gonna kind of improvise a little bit. So I feel like she has a little bit of black eyeliner on the top. I normally don't do this, but I'm trying to follow this look. So I'm actually going to tight line the top lash line only, which I'm not very used to. So bear with me. I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics Lauren eyeliner. I'm going to kind of warm it up on my hand first. And I'm going to really work it into the lashes. So what tight lining does is it kind of gives the illusion of eyeliner. Like it defines your lash line, but it doesn't take up any space on the top lid, if that makes sense. So it's really not gonna be anything too obvious, but I think in situations like this, it will really help the overall look. I think I am going to apply a little bit of bronzer to the lids. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Raya Bronzer, and I'm really just going to apply a little bit just to add some color to the lids, but I don't want too much product on the eyelid because we are going to be using a gloss. I don't want it to break up too much. For mascara, I'm gonna use this mascara right here. It's new from Wander Beauty. It's called the Mile High Club, and it's the Volume and Length Mascara. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this mostly on the top lashes I really don't think she has any mascara on the lower lashes and I'm just gonna focus it mostly on this outer portion here she has a little bit of like a winged effect going on meaning the lashes on this outer corner are longer than the ones in the inner corner so I'm gonna try to mimic that and I'm really trying to get to the root of the lashes as well I am going to apply some mascara to this inner part here and I'm just gonna lightly brush it to the lower lashes just a tiny bit so that we have a little bit of definition there but it's not like boom lower lash mascara you know I'm just gonna brush through the brows a little bit and this next part that I'm gonna do is completely optional. You don't have to, but I feel like she definitely has some individual lashes on. So I'm just gonna do this off camera. I'm going to apply the short and the medium. Um, I'm gonna focus the medium on the very outer corners and then move a little bit of short into the inner corners. I'm not gonna do too many because it seriously looks like she just has a few. I'm pretty sure I made a video on how to apply individual lashes. So I will link that down below if you guys wanna know, but I will see you in a minute with my individual lashes on and then we will complete the look with the lip color, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, so the glue is still drying. I ended up putting on three mediums and two shorts, and I really only focused them on the very outer corner, so it's such a subtle definition, but I feel like she's definitely wearing individual lashes, so I wanted to do it for this video. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off any foundation that got on the lips, and then I'm going to line the lips with the Lip Filler Lip Liner from Thrive Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Valicia and we're going to line and fill in the lips with this color. And this is like the main part of the look. So I'm taking my time to line the lips just to make sure everything looks nice and even. And I am going to overline slightly just in the center and then making sure to connect it to my real lip line on the outer corners. All right, now we're gonna go into the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Romantic. Apparently this is the one that he used. It's such a bold color. All right, let's go ahead and apply this on top. I'm really trying to be precise with this color. All right, we're just gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply the gloss to the lids. You obviously do not have to do this if you're going to be wearing it out. Again, I wanted to use a clear gloss, couldn't find mine. So the gloss that I had was the Petal Pout Lip Mask. Um, This one's in the shade Pucker, so it's not even clear, but I feel like it will go on the eyes 
pretty clear. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on my finger and I'm just gonna start to press it onto the lid, just more on the inner half. And you can see that kind of is creating that nice glossy lid effect. Let's do the same thing on the other eye. Ooh, that looks cool. I've never done a glossy lid before. All right, this is where I want a little bit more highlight. So I'm gonna take the Benefit What's Up again, just on the sponge. And I'm gonna add even more highlight to the cheeks. I like to apply it to the front of the cheeks as well. I'm gonna add it down the center of the nose. And then I'm actually going to take even more of this lip mask. I'm gonna kind of warm it up on my hand and I'm just gonna press that on the very high points of the face just for even more of a glossy look. Oh, my nails are horrific. <laughs> I really need to paint them. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm just gonna go into the What's Up highlighter and I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of the eyes. She definitely has something in the inner corners. And I'm actually gonna take what's left on the brush and kind of press that over the gloss just to see if that will intensify the glossy look at all. Now the thing with gloss on the lids is it's going to get messy. It's going to kind of separate. So if you're planning on wearing a gloss on the lids, plan on it kind of looking a little bit messy and just own it, you know? All right, let's assess the situation, which means add more bronzer. I'm actually just adding more cream bronzer because we did not powder the sides of the face, which is so unlike me, but we're just doing new things today. I'm also taking a little bit more powder along the forehead. And then I'm gonna take the blush brush. Where did I put it? Oh, this one right here. I don't know if I'm gonna add any more right now, I'm just gonna take what's left and kind of press that just right here on the apples of the cheeks. Okay, maybe I want a little bit more blush, like right there. Look how dewy the highlight is. Ooh, I love it. Okay, I felt like she had just the slightest amount of some sort of like a red orange. So I took the tiniest bit of Creve from um, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights and I'm pressing that just on the center of the lips. Seriously, I took this much. Okay, I'm just adding a little bit more. Mm. See, that might be too much now. Should have gone with what I had before. Now we have to go back into the Maybelline one to tone that down a little bit. Now I feel like that looks less like the color. Maybe not, maybe it's still good. Let's go ahead and set the face. I feel like everything looks how I want it to. So I'm gonna take the Urban Decay D-Slick. I normally use the Urban Decay All Nighter, but I cannot find it. It's in a box. <laughs> so this one has a little bit more oil control, which I feel like will be fine for this look because we use so many creams. All right, just spray the face and fan it off. I'm gonna go ahead and set the brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And then I'm of course going to go into my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm just gonna press this into the areas that I don't want any shine. So on the chin and around the mouth. And I'm actually gonna bring the powder kind of close to the lip color, just to kind of help it from bleeding. I feel like I need to clean up the line on this side of the lips. See how it's a little bit fuzzy? I'm just gonna take a brush that I used for concealer under my brows earlier, and I'm going to clean up those lines. She actually has quite a bit of shine in the uh, forehead area, so I'm just going to lightly dust that. I don't personally like to have it too, too shiny there, but she definitely had some shine going on in that area, so you could leave it unpowdered if you wanted to. I'm just patting out the crease of the eyes. Cause some product is settling in there. Again, you're not really gonna be able to prevent that through the day when you put a gloss on the eyes. It's just kind of part of the look, I guess. All right, so that completes this look. I know it was kind of like a long process to get a really simple look, but that's how it is for a lot of these makeup looks that you see, it actually takes way more time, way more steps than you would think. You could definitely take some shortcuts by using just one lip color instead of two. You could just use mascara instead of mascara and false lashes. You could just use what you're comfortable with and really create something super similar. I have to say, I really like how this look turned out. I love the lip color. I love how dewy and glossy the eyelids look and also the cheeks and I just feel really fresh and I'm really happy that I recreated this look because I was so inspired when I saw that on Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it and how you feel about this lip color. Would you go out wearing a lip like this? Let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely have to update you guys on more house stuff later. I realized that I totally just got into the moment and was really focused on the makeup look. So let me know what you guys want to see as far as house things go. I will keep you posted and I will definitely update you, especially on my Instagram story. That's where you're going to see the most from me as far as things around the house. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie. I would love to have you join the family and you can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, you can click on the notification bell to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload my videos. As always, request anything you want to see on my channel down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.